Hi team, so I told you that I was going to tell you which supplements I was taking. This is not medical advice, so if you think that it is, you are sorely mistaken, but I will tell you what supplements I'm taking. So I pulled up my big box of supplements and here's what I'm taking. So biotin, high dose biotin. This was something my neurologist recommended for fatigue. Um, biotin is also called B7, so it's a vitamin B. Um, it promotes energy in your cells that are damaged, um, and it can, according to Healthline, improve um, uh, improve disability, so that's good. Vitamin D3, I take that. Um, most people with MS, they have a deficiency in vitamin D. <laughs> I was born in the Pacific Northwest, so I didn't get a lot of sunlight growing up, um, hence my fondness for coffee. Uh, <laughs> so I take vitamin D3. Now you're going to notice that there are variances on vitamin D. Um, the, what is the difference between D3 and D2? D2 comes from plants, D3 comes from animals. Um, they have shown that vitamin D3 is more effective than vitamin D2, so I take D3, even though I'm more of like a, a veggie person, um, I take D3. Magnesium, I take magnesium uh, to help with muscle cramping. Um, it's supposed to help with muscle cramping and spasms. That's why I take it. I take it in addition to baclofen, um, which is a prescribed medi medication, but um, I take magnesium. I also take potassium for the same reason. Um, I don't take as much baclofen as my doctor has recommended because I think I can get through the day without um, having to take it. And baclofen kind of makes you tired. Uh, CoQ10. I take that because it reduces spasms, but it also helps with liver damage. Um, specifically, if you're taking a statin like me. I take a statin. It's okay. <laughs> um, fish oil. Fish oil, you know, we're supposed to eat fish. It's good for you. And... Sometimes we don't eat enough of it, but fatty acids are supposed to help us um, with inflammation. So I take fish oil, I take multivitamin, I also take alpha lipoic acid. Have you heard of this? It's an antioxidant, um, but it's supposed to also reduce inflammation, and we all have uh, inflammation, so I take that too. I take a probiotic. Everybody should take a probiotic to keep your gut healthy um, and everything normal downstairs. Um, so I also take um, Metamucil cinnamon spice wafers, wafers, and those are fiber. So lots of water, probiotic, and that fiber supplement is very helpful. Cranberry. Cranberry supplements. I take those because I have a propensity of getting um, UTIs and those are no fun. <laughs> no fun. So I try to take cranberry and try to eat cranberry to help keep that whole system working. Um, I think I mentioned that I take 4-AP, which is a compounded version of Impura. And it's immediate release versus extended release. And AP stands for amino pyridine. So four, the number four, and then amino pyridine. Take a look at that, research it. Um, I'm currently taking that. I get, that gives me a boost of energy. Um, and I take a satin. Um, I have high cholesterol. Yay. <laughs> they say it's genetic. Um, so that's everything that I pretty much take, and uh, yeah, it's a lot. It looks like CBS in my pantry, just saying. Um, so hopefully that was helpful. 
uh, gives you a little insight as to what another person with MS is taking and why they're taking it. Um, you might have suggestions of things that you're taking that have really helped you. Please, please, please leave them in the comment box below. Um, and if you haven't done so, subscribe so you can follow me and my craziness. <laughs> have a great day, everybody. Um, definitely chat with you all later.